Hi, Catherine. How are you? Good morning, Chef Atkinson. How are you? I'm fantastic. Oh, thank you for visiting with Living the Gourmet. I really appreciate this opportunity. Well, we're excited. Thank you. Well, uh, we're, I shall just begin here. We're all choosing a salad, and it's good option for your health and your waistline. So I know that um, your salad can actually do good for the world. And Chef Yu Atchison, you're the author of the new book, The Broad Fork, Recipes for the Wide World of Vegetables and Fruits. And you've teamed up with Newman's Own for the Greens for Good contest. So would you like to tell us a bit about the Greens for Good contest? I would. Um, the Greens for Good contest is just an amazing initiative from an amazing company. Paul Newman started in 1982 with the salad dressing his family had made for years in his basement and started as a charitable organization. And look at what it's bloomed into because, I, you know, they've given away over $430 million to charity so far since 1982. That's a pretty amazing amount of money. So now the ball's being thrown in the consumer's court and salad fans across the country are invited to create a recipe and submit it to Newman's Own. And the winner is gonna have $35,000 donated to the charity of their choice, impacting their community in their name. So it's pretty cool. And then there'll be nine runners up who the same thing happens with $1,000 and they get to donate that to the charity of their choice. So it's just a great way of showcasing a beautiful salad and a salad that America thinks is awesome and doing good in your community. And that's what Newman's Own is all about. Well, now, Chef, may I ask this question? For the contestants, can the salad be a salad of your choice? Does it have to be a green salad? Can it be what type of salad? Any salad? It can't be a salad pie. Oh, no. I, I, I don't know. I don't Not know what a salad pie is, but I wouldn't do that. But I want you to expand your idea of what a salad is. A salad can be really anything these days. I just need, it needs to be vegetable centric and it needs to showcase a ton of flavor and it needs to use a Newman's Own vinaigrette. So if I, you actually wanted to do a pie with Newman's Own vinaigrette on it, you could do that. Okay. <laughs> well, now we usually think of proteins in our salad like chicken, beef, and fish. Well, how do you successfully make veggies and fruits the star? I think you just reduce the amount of protein and, and uh, more expensive meats and things like that that are in there. I think that uh, the salad I created in this instance is a roasted carrot salad with avocado and charred scallions. And then it's got a beautiful, the, um, some beautiful California almonds and sesame seeds, the carrot tops, some parsley leaves. And then it's got a consummate amount of Parmesan Reggiano grated on top. And it's dressed with Newman's Own Balsamic Vinaigrette, which the synergy between the carrots and the balsamic are so good. They both have beautiful natural sweetness going on. So that's the type of salad I love. And I mean, but I want salads to be really a reflection of what's in the market, what's available around you, what farmers are growing and showcasing at farmers markets around your individual community. And I think Newman's Own can just help in that regard. And they can help even more with the winner who's going to win $35,000. So it's pretty cool. That sounds wonderful. Well, what salad are you creating for us this morning? So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the roasted carrot salad that we made this morning. Um, but, you know, there's, there's many others that you could do right now. It's beautiful summertime of the year. So right now I'd be looking for beautiful tomatoes, beautiful corn, maybe some shaved chilies. That can be really dressed with a olive oil and vinegar, classic vinaigrette from Newman's Own, or something like that. So I think you just want to go and find what's great in your community and what's great at your farmer's market and figure out a salad from there. Uh -huh. And if it's good enough, enter it into the contest. And how do you decide what dressing to pair with which salad? Um, you know, there are 25 different dressings in the in Newman's Own line, so you've got a lot of options. Uh, generally, I just put on a, a blindfold and sort of spin around and, and find one. Uh, but you could be more specific if you want to. But there's a lot of ones, and you're going to find one that definitely suits, uh, fits the bill for what your family and what your loved ones want to eat. And how do you put together the perfect salad for you and your family? How, what would you consider the perfect salad? I think the perfect salad to me is one that, for me personally, has a lot of bitter greens in it, like radicchio and endives and escarole and things like that. 
and then beautiful shavings of a beautiful cheese like a Parmesan Reggiano. Maybe it's simply dressed with Newman's own family recipe Italian. Uh, it's got maybe a little bit of shaved salumi in it or salami, things mm. like that, and, and maybe some pepperoncini. Maybe it's going to evoke almost like that classic beautiful sub sandwich or something like that. Maybe tiny little croutons mixed in there. Um, but to me, that is a that's like that's food that I long for, that I get to get ex excited about. So as a lot of the world uh, sort of joneses for you know candy and stuff like that, I get pretty excited about salad. Oh, it, it, and you know, you can it, your imagination is your limit, right? That's right. And my imagination, well, you know what? I'm still learning. It learns every day, so it gets a but little I like bigger. That you said the escarole and all, because a lot of people think that you need to cook only eat it cooked, no. but it makes. Delicious yeah. salad. It does make a delicious salad. I love eating like that. And I think that uh, I think we're in a really good place to really give a big hug to the farmer's market and figure out what they're doing and see the amazing abundance that's out there in the vegetable world. And it's time to make it into a salad. Exactly. And where can the viewers go for more information on this contest? Everybody can go to newmanzone.com backslash greens for good and entries need to be entered in by August 21st and then we're going to have a look at them and do a lot of salad eating and decide on the winner. Oh, I think you're going to have a lot of contestants and it's for a wonderful cause. Well, thank and you. Yeah, I think so too. It's for a cause that's whatever's great in your community and whatever is a fantastic charity that you think needs support. Well, thank you for visiting with Living the Gourmet Chef. And I look forward to my viewers going and entering this contest. And I can't tell you what a pleasure it was to speak with you today. Well, it's good to speak to you, Catherine. Have a great day. Thank you very much, and same to you.